show you around Port Townsend a little bit. This is a, um, well, there's a laundromat right there, right on the beach. I'm not sure what else this building is. There's no signs on, oh, I'll bet these are rentals down here on, on uh, the waterfront. But I'm going to drive around and show it to you because there's no way I can walk this whole thing. But right here in front of us is the commander's house. And that is a bed and breakfast. And I'll try to find links for all these places and put them um, in the video descri description. And this one right here, I don't know what it is. There's no sign other than it says the gathering place. And I don't know what that's about. That little building right there is the marina office. Let's go this way and um, turn right to see what's down here. See all these buildings here? Okay, this one here is U.S. Customs and Border Protection right here. Wow. These, this must have been military at one time because these are definitely old military bu buildings. And this is Pygmy Boats. Not sure what that is. Take my pass down so you can see. And that says Marine and Surveys Assessment. Oh, Shanghai Restaurant. And Hudson Cafe. Hudson Cafe. And here is Doc's Marina Grill. Oh, wow. This, this is awesome. And this is obviously camping here for vans. I wonder how much it is for vans. Oh, there's hookup, so it's probably pretty pricey. Um, oh, look at it's got a patio outside. Hudson Point Cafe again, right in front of us. Oh. There's no way to get out. I'm going to have to turn around. And then I'm going to show you right here. Everybody on the boat is rowing. I don't know if that's like a school, a class, or if they're out whale watching. Because there is whale watching here. But I think I'll save that for when Mike gets up here because he wants to see Washington. There's the ferry again. And notice there's an RV parked on the street. There's cars parked here. There's no signs saying that they can't park there. Another RV here on the left. This is a cool town.
all the signs here on the main street do say two hour parking. So obviously there is no, um, oh, it's only from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So it doesn't, there is no restriction for overnight. Little Thai restaurant here. So I think there is a carnival coming to town because this fantastic trailer there and that little ride right there in front of us and I've seen two other of the fan uh, fantastic trailers so that's definitely a carnival and this looks like a carnival food uh, trailer oops accident gonna happen right there Got to look behind her when she pulled out. Sign right there. That is 24 hour parking. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, a skate park right there. That probably gets a little noisy. Anyway, I'm going to find some place to hang out for the rest of the day and uh, stay here today, tonight. That right there is the Swan Hotel and there's little individual cabins also. I think I just ran that stop sign. So I have found a parking spot and I know it says no parking right there but I think that means on the boardwalk because I'm in an actual parking spot but if somebody kicks me out I'll find out that I'm wrong but anyway there's no signs telling me that there's a two-hour limit or that I can't stay overnight or anything like that but look at my view is this gorgeous or what so thanks for hanging out with me and i will see you tomorrow so are you happy now things just got so crazy from a simple maybe it was a long way down i just feel so heavy without you everything we Dance floor where I met you, I